What's up, my Vina loves? It's Miss Vina D coming to you all from Vina Team and News. Greg, how did you come up with this idea? <laughs> I'm looking at the picture right now. What? <laughs> you know what? I can't wait. And for some odd reason, I cannot say I cannot anymore without including Jocelyn. I just can't do it. That gift. But I can't wait to see Duck Lips, Kim Zosia, facial expression when Lenny walked in the room with Greg. I'm freaking in tears right now. I had to make this the first image of the episode. <laughs> wait to see her oh my gosh i was like what in the world but this right here was a good one because you already know the whole backstory about you know nini inviting um sheree to her house um and then sheree inviting kim as a plus one and then kim inviting her daughter as a plus one who wasn't invited her daughter going in nini bathroom seeing an ant on the floor posting it on snapchat and calling it a roach You know, just go to the playlist. I also have a playlist for the show and watch that entire, you know, video on that because I don't want to keep, you know, sounding repetitive. So you already know where this is from. So this right here is hilarious. This led to the whole racist gate, you know, Nene called in Kim races and then out of nowhere, Kim social media pages are now flooded with all of her black friends that she never posted. <laughs> so this right here was hilarious. Let's move on to the next costume. The next costume comes from Candy, you know, the hit film of the year, It. So, you know, this is good, sexy, creepy, you know, all of that. Um, this was Portia, you know, outfit. I don't really care for Marlo. So this was Marlo costume. I'm going to go ahead and include a video as well as I did for Candy. Divas on my way up to Hollywood, darling. Wish me luck. Yes, Marlo and her sugar daddy. Yes. Never go broke. Um, you know, this was Sheree. You can't really, this is a little glimpse of what Sheree um, had on at the party. Um, then, of course, Eva, Eva Maxell. Um, she looked absolutely stunning. I'm told this was the season finale they were shooting so um, she looked gorgeous and then of course now Cynthia Bailey Cynthia Bailey shut it down I'm you know gonna talk about Kenya cuz you guys know I'm team twirl you know but I'm gonna just keep it real Cynthia Cynthia took that yeah Cynthia hands down killed it you know before i get talk too much about cynthia let's talk about um kim of course no shocker here i mean she i love that she have a sense of humor i love that no hate towards women who have plastic surgery is your body do you it's not was let's get back to cynthia now you know cynthia became very creative with her um you know, you have 50 Cent and 50 Cent, you know, you know, that's the nickname she named herself during, you know, that whole moment of her doing her birthday moment of, you know, turning 50. So she started a hashtag 50 Cent. So this right here was epic. I mean, she completely won the night. I can't even find, like I said, I'm team twirl, but I think Cynthia Bailey, Cynthia Bailey got it. Cynthia Bailey absolutely got it. Um, 
Okay, so this is a, a, a oh my God, Cynthia. <laughs> I just can't, man. Wow. Yeah, Cynthia did that. Cynthia did that. Now, Kenya is all the way in the background. The only thing I have to say about Kenya um, outfit, because you guys know I love Kenya, on her complexion, red, a bright red, or even white, would have been an amazing color popping off her complexion. Reading the caption on the Kenya Moore outfit, the video, actually makes sense she captioned the video victoria's secret model who chocolate angel okay it makes sense chocolate is not red <laughs> or depending if you color it but i get it you know people always tell kenya how gorgeous she is call her black barbie you know put the chocolate emoji on her pictures when she you know post them so it makes sense she went as a chocolate angel so it makes sense to why she didn't wear a bright color so i take my bright color comment back but i'm gonna just throw some images right here to see how gorgeous her skin just pop off when she wear yellow or red or these beautiful colors. So especially my favorite look that I always post in um, the last three videos I've posted this right here of her in this dress, just my gosh, laying down it. <laughs> she just looked beautiful. So that's why I made that bright color comment, but I get where she was going and why she, she dressed the way that she did. So I'm gonna give Kenya a break. That uh, Nene brought the comedy to it. Um, Portia and you know Candy brought the crazy sexy. Um, Ava brought the you know class and Sheree tried. Uh, I'm not I'm not being shady. Sheree tried. Uh, <laughs> Kenya Moore brought the sexy yet classy. I can't really see. Shimia um, outfit in in um, this image here because she's in the background. So um, you know if I, excluding Nini, you know because she really went there and it was like too soon. Everybody else was kind of expected. Um, I love Kenya, but it wasn't no wow. Cynthia Bailey shut it down and i know i've already said that over and over again so she absolutely won so yeah man i'm going to go ahead and well let me just quickly add this in the video so i don't have to make a separate entire episode on this um candy and nini there's no beef or issue there you know there was this big thing about Nini you know making the comments that she made when doing her comedy show when you know a female from the audience and joined in with the booing and Nini then said to her she hoped the lady gets raped you know on her way home by her uber driver something that you sat in the back and that you wrote into your script hey i'm gonna go out here and call these motherfuckers racist and do all of that that was something that happened in an instant hell what we're doing and what we're dealing with at this day and age right now racism is very real and it's unfortunate that it had to come out that way but you know it's unfortunate to tell somebody to go kill themselves too because had you killed yourself that night would this woman be going through that? Would they know that this no, is happening? No, because they don't care. All they care about is what I said. I said, at the end of the day, I just want to be, I never want to cause harm to anybody else. Not in that kind of way. Everybody who know me know that I never would want that to happen. And that led to Nene then being removed from the Great Escape Tour. You know, the tour was still, still happening. You know, Escape, of course. Uh, Tamar Braxton and Monica. And 
I said Nene completely understand because there's no way she could be mad at Candy because it made sense business wise. There's no way Candy could have cried all season about an alleged rape allegation but then be cool with Nene being on tour. That would have made her look like a hypocrite. So I completely understand. Well, when that happened, Nene went and liked a comment that wasn't so pleasant that someone made about, you know, Candy not really caring about their friendship. So when Nene liked that comment, people were like, oh, trouble in paradise as far as their friendship goes. But then they went ahead and posted these images. Candy looks snatch, okay? Um, Candy posted fun times fun times with this tall beauty at Nene Leaks. And then Nene went ahead and also posted, I love that Candy and I have found our own personal bond. Fun times last night. You will get out there and purchase those escape tour tickets. So instead of me making a separate video, I just wanted to quickly add this in here that Nene and Candy are okay and all is well. I'm looking forward to the premiere of, you know, the new season. It's going to be drama filled. It's going to be fun. Once again, Cynthia Bailey, you did that girl. I heard my friend I loves. I'm wishing you all an amazing day. And remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.